Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my studio tour for early 2015. This is probably one of the most requested type of videos I get asked to do. Now I do an updated editing room tour every year and I also do an updated studio tour every year. And in this video I'm going to try and give you as much detail as I can about everything in the studio. And I really wanted to show it how it gets used. So I'm actually in the middle of setting up over in that corner uh, over there to do a new video which will be uploaded to my channel today. So anyway, let's get on and take a closer look. So we're gonna start over on this side of the studio and I'm gonna kick things off with a look at this. And yep, even I have to vacuum the studio to keep it clean. And I get a lot of questions about this. This is the Dyson DC44 Animal. Little cordless, rechargeable vacuum cleaner. Comes with this uh, sort of thin nozzle on it or a proper brush nozzle as well. So this helps me keep the studio nice and clean. I believe in keeping a really clean working environment. Helps me sort of focus on the things I'm trying to do. So, over here, a new addition to the studio. But alas, unfortunately, this might not be stained. Now this is a console table from Habitat. Nice white gloss wood and it was bought with the intention of using it over here to put the laptop on and maybe some products when I'm presenting. But I'm not that impressed with the quality. It looks like the top is slightly bowed and it takes up a lot of room, so might not be keeping that. Then we've got a coffee table just here, little coaster, LMAO. You've seen this in a previous video long, long time ago. This is my remote control for my Dyson hot and cold fan, which is over there. I'll show you that closer up in a short while. And this is an original iPad. Still got an original iPad there, still working. Just goes to show how brilliant Apple products are. This is my studio chair. Nice orange and white combination. I love orange. Orange is my favorite color uh, next to white and this is really comfortable. I think I got it on Amazon. I'll try and leave a link to this in the video description. Underneath the desk, just here, we've got my Rail T5 sub. Uh, that's connected to my amplifier, which I'll show you again in a short while. Really good subwoofer. And then across to the left, there's a little a stall. It's just a white stall, no storage in it, little black seat on top, and I just pull that out on occasion if I wanna sit and present in a certain area. And then, we have got my Blue Lounge studio desk. This desk is absolutely awesome. Really, really pleased with it. And the reason I like it is because it's got storage inside. Let me just show you. So if I slide this out, this bit slides out, and you've got lots and lots of storage, including underneath here as well, but storage area here. There's a slot in the back. There is also room for power cables. And then in either corner, of the desk, left and right, there's a hole so you can actually run your power cable out down behind one of the legs, and then everything you've got can be actually powered and plugged in inside the desk. Really very, very good indeed. And then there's this slot at the back which allows you to pull cables through. So I can use this one, for example, to charge my iPad. This is an iPad Air 2, by the way. So that's what I use for sort of reading notes on when I'm doing videos, etc. Really nice desk and I'm so, so pleased with it. I've had this for, I think, over a year now and it is just so, so good. Yes, it is expensive. You do pay a premium price for it, but a very, very good uh, addition to any sort of workspace. Now, let's have a look at what's on the desk. So, first of all, we've got my Panasonic Lumix GH4 and this has got an Olympus Pro a uh, 12 to 40 millimeter lens on it. I rate this lens higher than the Panasonic equivalent and that in combination with the GH4 really really good. And then on top of the camera we have my Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro. Again, awesome awesome microphone. When I'm not using my lapel mic, then I use this. So my lapel mic's a Rode mic as well, but it just is a really good combination for recording video. Just here these are my glasses, really pleased with those. And I'll give you a quick look at them. Seeing as this is a full tour, and you wanna see every little bit, I will show you my glasses, if I can just open them. They are Gucci glasses. I got them from JP Opticians. They are really very, very nice. Nice combination of white and uh, sort of brown color. 
very comfortable. And they've also got these special blue tinted or blue filtered lenses on them, which really help with screen work. Look, you can see the tint there. It's not a tint, it's like integrated into the lens, so really very, very good. And then over the back here, these are new additions to the studio as well. These are little cubes from Ikea. You can get them in all different colours, red, blue, grey, black, white. Um, the blue colour is like a, a teal sort of colour. Really very, very good indeed and super cheap. I think they were £17 each and they snap together really easily and they've just given me some more storage and display areas which I think, think work really well both for displaying things generally but also for uh, actually putting things in when I do my mega gadget collection videos. Now this one's obviously empty. This one here, we've got my GoPro Hero 4 Black which I've only just got recently. And then there's just a little gift that somebody bought my wife in the corner there. And then on top, we've got an LED lamp. There's a second LED lamp over there. And then these are all of my Nintendo Amiibos. Very, very cool. Look, there they all are. Hi Donkey Kong, Sonic, Mario of course, and all of the other ones all the way across the top. And then my subscribe pillow, and I've got this from Throwboy. So if you want a good subscribe pillow, check out throwboy.com. And then on the wall, we have got a dog picture. I think that's a chihuahua. And then my Simpsons picture, which gets a lot of comments in my videos. Absolutely superb. Now both of these, a lot of people ask, where did I get these from? I got these from eBay, and they were round about 20 pound each. And they're proper canvases, and the print goes around the edges as well. Very, very good indeed. And then over here on the wall, this is one of two speakers, uh, monitor audio radius speakers. I think they're radius 90s, might be wrong on the model number, but these form part of my sort of cinema setup for when I'm testing various things, if I'm looking at a film or a subwoofer or an AV receiver or an amplifier, these form part of the setup. And then on top, we've just got some little figurines, including a little 3D me. Very cool indeed. And then over here, this is the main screen that I use for if I'm playing games, or again, if I'm testing a subwoofer, for example. It's 55 inch Samsung Curve TV. Don't remember the model number. Very, very good. It's not 4K, it is 1080p, and it is superb. Very, very pleased with it indeed. And then the AV unit down the bottom is from Just Racks and that holds everything I need it to hold, including Xbox One, PS4, and down the bottom here, this is something I just recently reviewed. This is the uh, Denon AVR X2100W home cinema receiver, skybox on top, and that just forms part of my sort of testing area for when I'm testing things, and then there's the second radius speaker there, and then behind the screen, there is another radius speaker here, and then on top, little watch box and my Star Wars Wookiee. Yes, Wookiee for the win. And that is pretty much it in that cabinet area. I'll cover off all of these various lights and bits in a minute, but let's just continue around here. Now this area here is new. This is something I set up just about two weeks ago, something like that. There's an LG screen at the back here. This is a 32 inch LG. And this uh, model number on this, I can't remember, but it was under 300 pounds. And I will leave a link to it in the video description. It's a very good screen for the price. It allows me to mirror my display on my MacBook Pro. So when I'm presenting in this area, then you get to see what I'm seeing. I think it's a really nice setup. Seems to be working very well. And I wanna thank you for all your feedback on this type of video, because it's a new format of video I've been doing and you've been giving me such great comments about it. And then the TV is sitting on top of an Ikea unit. That's where I just keep some of my review stock. I'm not gonna go into all of the cupboards and doors and drawers, but I will just show you in there. This top drawer, for example, I use for all of my microphones and little cables and accessories, so they're easily accessible. And then we've got a bar stool. I got this from Amazon. Again, I'll leave a link to that in the video description. And then here, we've got my Retina MacBook Pro, and you can see the screen there replicates what I've got. Let me just turn the brightness up. That replicates what I've got on the LG screen behind me. Really good laptop, this. One of the best purchases I made next to my actual Mac Pro. 
so so useful so well made uh, it's top spec when it came out and it's just performing just admirably really very solid laptop great experience connected via hdmi coming out the side here round into that lg screen and then over here let's do this area i've got my dyson hot and cold fan this is awesome i've had this for what about two and a half three years and they swapped it out because there was a product recall heater in the winter cool fan in the summer remote control rotates or oscillates as they call it you can tip it up and down brilliant i love it even milo my little shih tzu loves it as well then we've got a little cable tidy thing i forget what this is called but it's from blue lounge and the idea in this is you can put power cables in and have the cables running out of that slot in the side. I currently just use it to store all of my uh, chargers for my various cameras. Just mobile stand on the top for iPad. And then over in this area here, this is just a seating area. And I obviously use this to sit on when I'm either watching back a movie to test a subwoofer or playing a game. There's also a footstool, little table as well with some more coasters on. And then over in this area here, in this corner, this is just a little storage area. There's another one of these plastic stools with the little cushion on top, which can be used to sit on. Another light just down there. Let me move this stool so you can see it. So there's another LED light. You're gonna see one of those in a minute, which is just sitting there not being used. And then I've got some tripods and various stands in the corner. That's my man Flotto tripod, my main tripod. Awesome piece of kit. And then I said I was going to show you the lights. Now, we've got a couple of lights set up here, ready for the recording that I'm doing now. I'll show you this big one first. This is actually not a studio light. If I go onto the back here, you can see the details. It's from sad.uk.com. And if I turn it around, because I can never remember, the actual model number, it's a diamond light, and it's actually a sad light. Let me just turn one of them off so it's not quite so bright. You can see inside there's tubes inside, and it's meant to treat seasonal affective disorder, but it works really well as a studio light as well, because it gives out the right type of light. And I can rotate this into this area here, and light up this area, or if indeed I'm presenting over here, I can rotate it again to face that direction and it helps light up that area. It's really good, really effective, generates a little bit of heat, so it's good in the winter because it keeps you warm, but the rest of the time it's just a, a really effective uh, light for sort of dispersing a wide area of light. So it can light up a nice wide area. Let me just point it over here. So you can see here that's with the light turned away. Yes, the camera's trying to compensate, but it gives you an idea, and that's with the light on. So it just lights up a nice bright area. And then the other light, just here, this is what I use primarily for my product reviews. But when I'm presenting in this area over here, the white walls behind where I'm sitting, see where the picture is? I need to throw some light on those, otherwise it looks very dull. And that's what I'm using this for today. I haven't got it plugged in at the moment. But if I wasn't using it for that, it would be maybe pointing down towards the desk and lighting up this area. And this is the Aperture Amaran AL528S. Now, I've got quite a few of these lights. They're very, very good. I've got it on a flexible arm at the moment because sometimes I use it with a clamp mechanism. And this flexible arm just allows me to sort of tilt it back very easily. And it's also got the main on-off switch on the back, and then you can control the intensity of the light with this dial just here. If I show you the actual light itself, if I come around here, you can see that we've got a diffuser on the front, and these are all of the LED bulbs on the front. There's no point in me turning it on because it'll just blind you when I turn it on. But there are a couple of different models of this. In fact, there's three main models. There's an AL528S, uh, and that's a spotlight, so it's a more concentrated light. And then there's a W, which uh, gives you a wider dispersed light, but not as bright. And then there's also one, which isn't a 528, it's another number, I think this might be a 628C. But again, I'll leave links to these in the video description. And the one with the C on the end allows you to control the colour temperature. So there's three different ones, and I've got a combination of different ones. And you can, you can actually power it via 
uh, a mains adapter which plugs in here which I'm going to be plugging in shortly or if you're out on the, in the field you can, can actually power it by battery as well so you can run it off of two batteries so let me just stand back here and you'll get an overall view of how the studio actually looks when I'm going to be doing some recording so you can see it's uh, a good amount of space I've got in here for doing recording what I tend to do is I tend to leave the tripod and the camera set up there permanently now so that if I get some news coming I can just jump onto the seat and present the video that's what I tend to do now and then of course if I'm recording in this area I just move the camera around and record a video over in this area here so that's it for the studio tour for early 2015 I hope you've enjoyed it please do leave us some comments in the comment section below and if you've got any questions about anything that you've seen in this video then just ask away or answer as many questions as I can and as I mentioned earlier in the video I'll try and link to all of the main products I've shown you in the video as well just so if you want to make that purchase it will link you through to the product page on Amazon so thank you very much for watching please do hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next video